Welcome to my Power Pivot video on combining data from the cloud with your local data by using Power Pivot. Today I got accepted to a new Microsoft project called Codename Dallas. And Dallas is a service allowing developers and information workers to easily discover, purchase and manage premium data subscriptions from Windows Azure platform. Okay, what we got here is code project Codename Dallas. We have a catalog with all kinds of data sets available. What you can see is we have the crime rates, historical business data, Mars orbital data, food aggregation, UNESCO data, city trips, okay this is all coming soon but it's very interesting, business analyst data, risk data, locations, weather central, more about National Geographic, Navtech, all about the information about cities, Oh, lots and lots and lots of more commodity trade statistics gender info all kinds of information which will be available to us soon okay I've made some some data and what I want to do I've made some subscriptions to data I've made it to Associated Press and information about businesses in the UK England and Canada and the World Health Organization and what I want to do today is get data with Power Pivot from my analysis cubes. Again, we go and connect to the analysis services database of AdventureWorks. I connect again to my local station, AdventureWorks. And what I want to do today is see how much is sold per head of the population. So we go to the internet sales. We get the internet sales amount by country. So here we can see how much is sold in each country. And we want to do it in one year. So we take the year 2006. Okay, because I know the data from the data is also from one year. Okay, this is the data I can get. I'll do the in internet sales amount we give it a friendly name and we do finish again we import the data okay six rows we again give it a friendly name country and we give this one the sales amount and we again make it a decimal okay this is part one now we go and play with our Dallas data. And I know I have explored the data before. In this data, we're gonna get how much people how much people will live in one country. You can see we have all kinds of data available. Uh, average standard, population, single access, all kinds of health information. What I'm interested in is how much population in thousands. We want all the and we want again 2006 okay now we can press preview I won't uh, let you see the information below because that's is where my uh, account key is so I have to be a little bit careful uh, as you can see we can see all kinds of information per country in thousands how much people uh, are living there okay now we have one button I would like to show you is the analyze, analyze button what Analyze does is just straight from Dallas open an Atom link and we can just add it to our existing power pivot. So it's going to add the data to our power pivot window. Okay, we can give it a user friendly name. We give it uh, amount of people. Okay, we do next. You see which source table. We can give it a friendly name. Uh, people, and we click finish. Now it's going to connect to the cloud and connect it to the data source. We have to wait a second. Okay, it's going to import. 
the data. Okay, we have 100 rows transferred. I believe this is uh, uh, something which is in the CTP only, 100 rows. Okay, I click, I click OK, and we see all the data straight into Power Pivot. Again, we do some renaming, country, and we say the value has to be, this is a whole value of whole number. Okay, country and country, but I will create a relationship right here between the sales amount country and the people country create we go back to our pivot table on the existing worksheet okay now we can see our sales amount per country and we see a value per country okay this is a row we don't want to see so we can label filters greater than zero okay okay now we got the sales amount and the head of and how many people will live in the country as you can see United Kingdom and United States are not found in this data and I believe this is because we have just a set of data and not all the data okay what I now want to do is create a new measure where I want to sales amount by the people and we do the sales amount per head ah, okay sorry I have to do check formula okay we do check formula as you can see, Australia sells 100 per head of the population. And you can see by the amount is okay. So you can see how quickly you can get data from the internet to combine with your local data and get information you want. We can clean this up because we're dividing by zero now, but I don't want to go into that now. Thank you for listening.